your students have already missed enough because of remote learning. They shouldn't have to miss a yearbook signing as well. Flipgrid gives you a way to not only have your students connect with you and with one another, but to actually do a virtual yearbook signing as well. So if you don't have an account, you can click on Educator Sign Up. I already have one, so I'm just going to log in. Now, grids are groups of topics, and within a grid, you have, well, topics. So we're going to create a new grid, and you can choose to have students sign in with an email address or student ID, or just make it open to the public. But we are going to use a school email address. Students can use Microsoft or Google school emails for that. We're going to call this virtual yearbook. As I said, we'll use school email to keep it secure. And then the flip code is actually customizable. So I'm going to use just my last name and third period. Uh, this is the school email domain that they'll need to log in with. And you can see I can actually share that code with them. Now that I've created a grid, each grid comes with an introductory topic that we will probably not actually use. So I'm going to now add a new topic. And what we're going to do is we're going to add one topic for each student. So here you'll put the name of your student. I'll just use a first name and last initial. And then we need to give a prompt telling your students what it is they're supposed to do when they get here. So just give your students some direction in terms of what kinds of things you would like them to say about their classmates. Now, we do suggest using video moderation. That way you can not allow any videos to be seen until after you have approved of them. Decide how long you want to give each of your students. By default, it's 90 seconds, but we're going to make this one one minute. And you can optionally record a video here, although these videos are meant to be your directions to the students. So this isn't where you would record your well wishes to that student whose board this is. There are some other optional nice features here. You can just use stickers, upload a picture of the student if you have those. Wouldn't do that unless you have one for everyone. Although I suppose you could uh, put pictures for the students that you might have an image of and then fill in for the others with things like a GIF. So Flipgrid is very fun. There are fun things for the students to do as they're recording as well. So you have a chance to put a tip in here. This might be a good time to remind them to keep things positive. So you have some fun things that you can add as you're creating, and students will be able to add tons of fun things as they are adding their response. You can set times to start and end when students can actually submit. There's some of the other optional features available. And you can decide whether or not to have students be able to respond to one another. And when you're finished, click Create Topic. So from here, you could share this topic through Google Classroom or Teams, but the way we're setting this up, it's going to be more useful to share your whole grid rather than sharing just a topic, because then you'd have to share a topic for each student. Instead, again, to Teams or Classroom, or just grab the link and share any other way with your students, you want to share the whole grid. As I said, this introductory one, say hello on Flipgrid, we don't actually need that. So we're going to go in here and click Edit, which is where you'll find Delete Topic. All right, because all we really need is topics for each of our students. So I'm going to click under the drop down for Actions and duplicate this topic. It lets you choose where you want it to end up. We do want all of our topics to be in this same grid. And now all we have to do is go to the duplicated topic and change a couple things so that it reflects an additional student rather than Emily again. So it's now titled Copy of Emily N. Just click to edit and we'll change that to our next student. And don't forget in the prompt you have the student's name as well. So I have two places to change the name. And just repeat this process for as many students as you have. Just double checking her name isn't anywhere else. And now we're ready to duplicate once again. And again, just do this for as many students as you have in your class. If you get this message, just go ahead and close it and go ahead back in and duplicate the next one. So you don't have to wait for one to finish before you duplicate the next. And as it turns out, by the time we get here, it's already done processing. There we have three of our students. Click back on the grid not 
the sharing the topic, but I actually want to share the grid. So click this share button instead. You can copy this and paste it wherever you need. Or if you're using Microsoft Teams with your students, you can click on Teams and choose which team and even which channel to share it to. And if instead you're using Google Classroom, it works very similarly. Again, just choose which class you'd like to share it to. And again, if you're not using either Google Classroom or Microsoft Teams, then you can simply copy that and share it with your student, whatever digital tools you use for sharing links like that. So there you have it, a virtual yearbook signing where students from the comfort of their own home can reach out to their classmates and peers and wish them well over the summer or if they happen to be seniors uh, with their lives. Okay, so I hope you've appreciated this opportunity you have to reach out to your students and enable them to easily reach out towards one another. Don't forget to click subscribe down below where you'll also find links to my book all the Microsoft tools you need to transform your classroom, as well as my blog, theotherit.com.